What's going on and welcome back uh, to the channel now today we've got another vlog i haven't vlogged in about 242 years um i've only done like three or four vlogs they actually did really well on the channel as well and i kind of stopped the um no idea why i was just focusing on the ipl season a hell of a lot um, doing every IPL review, every cricket test review between England and India. It gets tough out there, and as you can see, I'm already shaking. It is hard holding up a phone. I do not have a camera. I'm not that. I'm not cashed up at all. So we do not have a professional camera to vlog with. But hey, I'm actually out here um, the night of. How do I fucking? There we go. There's my mic. I'm about to watch a Brad Hogg um, reaction. So as I'm recording this, it's 6.40 p.m. at night. Tonight is the start of the Super 12 T20 World Cup games, Australia versus South Africa. Um, I really wanted to do a watch along like to the game, but I'm trying to figure out the whole internet um, stuff and how to get more screens. Like th It's all difficult. There's so many technical issues to, to it all. You wouldn't even believe. But hey, we're here. I'm about to do some reactions, so when you see this video comes up, just know I did a vlog right before it, um, and I'm just going to be vlogging through the World Cup through the next day or two. I might do one or two vlogs a week. I don't know. If anyone wants them, let me know. I remember in my last vlog, I had someone tell me that I have a like I live in a beautiful area and I have a beautiful view, and ever since then, ignore the shit behind me. That's not the beautiful view. <laughs> um, how do I flip this camera? Realised you can't flip the camera, but not bad. Not a bad night in Australia. Not bad. First ball, Australia versus South Africa. You're going to get my live reaction. Oh, bit of movement. Mitchell, St oh no. Bad fielding. We just let an easy two runs against South Africa. First ball, I'm nervous. If we lose, we might as well fucking pack our bags and go home. Only four overs in. I, I can't show more than one second, but we've got three wickets. Quinton de Kock, whoever is the commentator is shut up, I'm trying to speak. Um, we just got de Kock out. He, he hit the ball into his own stumps. South Africa, three for 23 after four overs. Australia. You always know we would stand up. Oh, here we go. They're showing the Quinton de Kock dismissal. <laughs> he watched it in slow motion go into his wickets and hit him off. All right. Well, what a first innings that is from the Aussies with the ball in hand. They're just showing the scorecard. South Africa after 20 overs, 9 for 118. An incredible collapse, and I tell you what, us Aussies, we just know how to rise on the big goddamn occasion. And here's Glenn, me and Glenn. I know this is a notable thing, but Glenn Maxwell has the hairiest arms in the world. Look at that! <laughs> man is the hairiest man alive. Here we go, two or four for the win. Stoyness. Oh, it's a dot. <laughs> Two off three. Hit, bang. Stoyness. Four. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We made it hard for ourselves. <laughs> but we get the win in true, almost choking Australian style. But we get the win. Yes. 